Well, had another good week. Uh, da, 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 six out of seven cop last week, which gave us a healthy profit. Um, just looking back over the season, um, I think the moral of the story is forget the first six weeks because that was an unmitigated disaster. But after that, um, we've had, I think, five, five and a half really good months, or four, four and a half, I think, something like that anyway, of um, unmitigated success. Yeah, we've had, uh, we're in profit all the way through, um, which um, has meant we've reverted back to type because over the last two years, we've, um, we've had a real healthy profit on all the tips right throughout the season. I was a bit unlucky last week as well with me treble because Wolves of all people are letting me down. Not as far as beating them 2-0. Who'd have thought it? But uh, no, it's been really good over the last, as I say, bar the first six weeks of the season when I always do struggle a little bit because I've got to get a, you know, get a steer on the team and see who's signed where and who's doing what. But yeah, give me six weeks, it's settled down and we've done really, really well. So um, right, enough of me blowing my own trumpet. Let's get on with this week's and let's hope we can continue in a similar vein. Um, Yeovil Man United tonight, uh, a bit of a struggle to get in this when you've got a team of one to six. But if we package this up, and I've done this before on a couple of occasions, I think Man City was the last time I did this and it actually copped. So uh, I'm going to go for Man United to win, which is one to six. I'm going to double that up with a goal in each half, which is four to nine, and over 2.5, which invariably comes with the goal in each half, which is also four to nine. So as a treble, which is the way I'm going to get into this game, may like to win, goal in each half, over 2.5 goals, comes out at 13 to 10 as a treble. So all of a sudden you've got an interest all the way through the game, as long as you get goal in the first half. Uh, On to the Saturday, Southampton against Watford, just played each other, two all. Watford quite lucky to get out of that game, uh, you know, with, with anything. Southampton really should have seen that, that game out. I'm going to go for both teams to score and over 2.5 in this. I think this could either be a really dull affair or this could be a, 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 a really good game where both teams, you know, think about this competition, think we have got a great chance of doing really well in it. So we'd like to stay in it. So I'm going to go for that. Both teams to score and over 2.5 goals is 11 to 8. You've also got a draw. You want a bit of um, a little bit of a saver on this, maybe a draw at 15 to 4 just to cover yourself, but the way I'll go is both teams are scoring over 2.5 goals, 11 to 8. Newport against Tottenham, I'm going to go for more goals in the second half than the first half, which is even money. I just think this might be a, a slow burner. It will not be an easy pitch for Tottenham. They'll take a little bit of time to get maybe on top of Newport. They'll take a little bit of time to to become accustomed to it. And Newcastle are half decent side. They've already showed that this year. They're in good form. The new manager's done really, really well there. So I'm going to say, just take this as a little bit of a slow burner, but more goals second half than first half at even money. Uh, on to Liverpool, West Brom. Uh, Liverpool to win without conceding. Mm, it is, uh, you've got to look at Liverpool's team. There's no doubt about that. Let's see exactly how clock goes. They got beat last week, which puts a bit of pressure on them with regard to you know, the Premier League, the FA Cup is is a fantastic competition and, you know, it is a way into Europe. There's no doubt about that. Whether they want that way or not, I don't know. But Liverpool to win without conceding. Have a look at the strength of Liverpool's side first. is 11 to 10. Chelsea against Newcastle. Um, it's been a real topsy-turvy year so far for Chelsea. Conte sort of, I don't know, he was so, so good, you know, when he won it. And it just seems to... It's one or two things that aren't quite making sense from that perspective, from from you know from his perspective. You know, one or two things. Ed, Ed and Jacko, that sort of money for someone who, you know, with all due respect, can be very, very up and down. You can look at him sometimes and think, well, he's not even bothered. You know, we know he's got talent, we know he's got ability, but, you know, that's where Chelsea are in the scheme of things. Like you said, he's probably right to say they are behind, you know, the Manchester clubs now with regard to financial powerhouses. Um, I'm going to go from to win. And I'm going to get back a, a scoreline of here, 1-0 at 15-2 and 2-1 at 17-2. Now, I know they, 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 you know, they, they beat Brighton last week comfortably on the Saturday, struggled, obviously, got knocked out of the Carabao Cup semi-final against Arsenal in the midweek. So I'm going to go with a, a home advantage for them to nick this, and I'll go for those. A little bit of a, bit of a, a flyer, should we say. Cardiff, Main City, I'll be at this one for, for five live. I'm going to look forward to this. Both teams to score and Man City to win 7-4. to four. Or a little bit of an outsider, just to cover yourself again, draw is 5-1. to one. Draw is 5-1. to one. Obviously, Man City um, had the game at Bristol City in the week. Uh, 
you know, played most of the big guns. So it'll be interesting to see what sort of side they put out as, as ever. FA Cup, you've got to have a look at the teams first before you do your bets. So keep your powder dry, have a look at the who picks who, and then you can, you can, um, you can bet accordingly. Uh, my treble, or should I say full time of this week, obviously it's invariably, that's what I do with the FA Cup. Uh, I'm going to go Millwall, Swansea, um, Liverpool, and Spurs. I think all these sides, albeit, you know, on, on paper, they're all, you know, none of these games are easy, particularly in the FA Cup. And as I said, you've got to have a look and see exactly who these teams pick. But Millwall, Swansea, Spurs and Liverpool. And that's 7-2. to two. That'll be my four-timer this week. Good luck to everyone. Let's keep the good work going. And hopefully we can have another profitable weekend. Cheers.